What's up guys, my name is Mitchell Pelkey. I'm a current Division I lacrosse player at Ohio State and today I'll be reviewing the cheapest lacrosse gear versus the most expensive lacrosse gear in the world. Giveaway at the end of this video, stay tuned. Let's get into it. Sit right here. What is this, like Santa? <laughs> Step Brothers right here. Huge shout out to SCX for sponsoring this video. Let's dive through all the gear. Bam, you guys see it. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Are you nuts? Diving into the unboxing now. Oh, we got those eight. are swag. You might have to wear those against UNC. Again, we do play UNC this weekend, so obviously you guys see this after the game. Roll the clips oh, of the game. Roll Garrett Nielsen's first ever career first goal, goal of the career, maybe. Very clean. Clap it up for two six. I mean, the Grinch deserves it. <laughs> We got the least most expensive lacrosse gloves on the market. The STX Stallion 75. Wow, look at those. These are so different. A lot of flexibility, not a lot of padding. You're definitely soaking checks, but again, you're a young age. You're a young Rick in the, in the industry. Wow. These are classics. I had these as a kid. I used to get oh. made fun of for wearing these things. Yeah. That should be pretty comfortable. The heart protector we got now, you know. The Rival Junior, the least most expensive elbows out there. That's Holy so God. The complete the wrapper on it. Fresh. STX 6000, Stallion 200. He's ready to ride. What was your first ever stick? It was an STX Superpower. It actually was. What are My they? first ever stick was a navy blue Superpower. Yeah, it's funny at times change. Man. This is the most expensive gear on the market. All right, so these ones, obviously, we wear these in games. You see the red. We got the Stallion 900 elbow pads. These are obviously key. I wear these ones in white and red, but I'm actually about to switch to these after we play UNC. And then we got the new ones here. Oh, he's Waiting for these guys. Yeah, I have. Look at these gear rat. If you guys have, I have. These are the Razor Twos. Wow, look they at look those. They look silky. The palms are different, but I like the blue inside. I like the little attachment to the cuff. Ooh, they feel good, dude. We got the RZR Twos. The RZR though, no cap. Best lacrosse gloves ever. The RZR Ones the are the now. best lacrosse glove yeah, of, all of all time. We got the RZR Ones and the RZR Twos. Not much different. Obviously, the little slip going down, you know, each finger. You got a little bit different now on the cuff. Obviously, the two tone on the palm, and then the actual the inside of the RZR Twos are different. Pop up a picture of the Ohio State custom. Um, RZR2s, you got white and red. I think those are sick. If you're a high class lacrosse player in high school the or in college, you gotta get a pair of STX RZRs. And then we got the new shoulder pads. We actually don't even have these here at Ohio State. No. These are the new STX Stallion 900 shoulder pads. Oh, these are nice. They're real light. I'm gonna start wearing these. Oh, I like these a lot, actually. Those look loose. And then we got the newest release, STX 1K. It's the hottest guy in the market. Literally holding gold right now. Just from the feel of this, I do like how thick the plastic is. Being an offensive defender, obviously, I get checked a lot. We get checked a lot. So having a stick that you know is durable, I think is very huge. This is really the hottest head on the market right now. Literally just released. James Hogan here. We got the all new STX 1K lacrosse head. I'm gonna show you how to string it up like a college lacrosse player. Doing the top string here. Kind of a little different than most. I kind of do it on the inside like this. And it really locks it up so that it stays tight and doesn't sag. I think it really pulls it well. See how it pulls it up? I kind of go through this little slit and it keeps the mesh really high. Single, pull it around. There it is. It's top string top done. String. See how that mesh now when I do that loop, it pulls it up. So it doesn't like sag at all over time. And then Mitch can feel this. These things are iron tight right here. Sometimes they get saggy. Dang. So it's a new top string I just started doing. I like it a lot. Right, so going into the sidewall now. James Hogan is actually this team stick doctor. Right, channel's not too tight at all. Whipping it together, it's not gonna be too crazy whippy, but it'll be loose. There he is. He's got the shirt on. Look at him. Looking good. Ah, oh, there he is. Random. Oh my God. God. Hoagie was just saying he used to wear these things all the way up until ninth grade. Yeah, watch this highlight video. You can see him. It's like he's going to war combat. Get you, boy. Get me Sheena. Yeah. Get it on. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. It looks like Beetlejuice. Look at that. Yeah. 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 Here, yeah, Nielsen, class of 2023. How we feel? I'm hungry. My gear on. If I'm you ready. showed up to a summer tournament looking like this, trying to get recruited, do you think one coach would email you? Doesn't matter how you look, matters how you play. I like it. Look at that. We have the most expensive gear. Look at this. Swaggy RZR2. The new stallion shoulders. And the helmet, too. What are we thoughts? Most expensive gear, least expensive gear. I'm drippy. He's not. Give the fans a rundown about Gary Nielsen's first goal of his career. Fast break, and I got my heels to the end line. Followed the slide, caught fake high, went low. What was the celebration? I think I just hopped on Kyle Lewis. I was so fired up, but he didn't realize it was my first goal ever, so. <laughs> What do you guys say out of the Young Bucks out there if they want to be the best lacrosse player in the world? Rep STX. I started out with STX starter kid like this when I was in second grade. Highly yep. recommend. Oh, yeah. It only goes up from there. So. Yeah. Truth and love. Sign out. Sassy! 
games. Final product on the 1K. That's how I like it. A little mid-high pocket here. Not too much whip, but we'll give you a little yank on your shots. Could pass in smooth. This is my weapon right here. We're here at the Shoemaker Complex where we get down and dirty. Our weight rooms in here, our indoor facilities in here, our locker rooms in here. Let's get into it. We're here at the men's lacrosse locker room at The Ohio State University. We're gonna give you guys a little peek inside the locker room. So coming in here, obviously we got the two mannequins with all of our gear. We're actually wearing these shorts tomorrow against UNC. Actually, we have these helmets as well, but with the white Buckeyes. We got travel shoes, workout shoes. This is a big thing here. It's the hammer. This is a big thing. This always goes to the toughest Buckeye on the team each year. You win with people. Then here, you see V and I wearing these for every game day. This is a sad moment here. The ruckus, the Honda ruckus, it got stolen right out of the backyard. Hoagie's laughing behind the camera. It's real mad. It got stolen. The police reports out. Whoever stole the Honda Ruckus, I'm coming for you. Alright, so we actually just had practice in here not too long ago. So obviously we have some laundry. We wear these things called catapults. You see these in the PLL. Kind of like these brawl-like things where we kind of keep track of our heart, this and that. Some more loops. This is kind of where we dive into film. And, uh, and this is kind of where we allude to the whole program. The Buckeye Creed. I'm a Buckeye first and last. And this is a big part of being here. We walk through this every Monday along with the hard hat, which I'll show you guys. But if we come back here, we got a nice setup. I'm going to say this right now. I have the best locker spot in the locker room right here. We got a nice setup. We got the one and only 2-4 Connor Mitchell, 2-5 Mitch Pelkey. And everyone walks over here, so we're dapping up guys, getting everybody juiced up. We got 2-6 Garrett Nielsen, and then 2-7 James Hogan, where he usually has about eight sticks. This is on a light day for him. We give Garrett some slack here, though. I see uh, Nike and Nike. And look, at, look at Vader again. Yeah, Vader. Vader, you know, he's a potential SCX athlete with this stuff. Let's kind of peek into the locker. You guys have seen this before. Not the first, not the last time, but let's go into the field and try out the gear. the most expensive gear. So we're gonna start out with the cheapest. This actually reminds me of my first ever stick. Like I said, I had the STX, I think it's called the AV8. But this is the STX 6000, a complete strong stick. And the STX Stallion lineup, your boy's gonna get padded up. Kind of give you guys a rundown. Shoulder pads, here we are. Here's the elbow. I used to rock the STX Stinger, Stinger line. Yeah. Back in the day. Yeah, I remember those. The OG Stinger line. I would say the biggest thing when you get to the college level is there's definitely less padding and more accessibility to move around. Oh, this is it. The junior. <laughs> This is the cheapest lacrosse equipment you can get in the world, but with the best sponsor, STX. Does the helmet look any better? I tried to loosen the chin strap. It's not even clipped in any way. <laughs> oh my God, that is a complete strong stick here, folks. First shot, what do you want it? Top right, left? The top left. You know what's underrated and something you don't think about when you get to the next level and have nicer gear is, look at these gloves. There's no cuffs. We oh, yeah. literally have the drawstring. Draw it's actually kind of nuts. All right, top right. Obviously, you guys know 30 minutes of wall ball a day keeps a doctor away. If you want to make it to the next level, you got to continue to work on your right and left hand. Something I take real pride in. Today, we're going to hit a little 30 minutes with the cheapest stick on the market. How about a little GB? How's the GBs with those? Yeah. Oh. Like if you're coming to D1 practice like this and you don't score a million goals, it's kind of a letdown. The legend has it, the worse your swag is, the better your play has to be for it to kind of even out. Just like James Hogan's highlight tape. Roll it back. He looked terrible out there. He had this stuff going on at 14 years old. But guess what? He was committed to the Ohio State University and he balled out. Overall fit. Biceps are about to pop out of these things. Let's get into the real gear. The Fogo legend. Hey, last time we were in here, kid was banging 55 garters up there. <laughs> wow, folks. It's the update. You want to give the fans a little update? Yeah, the, your boy's taking a fifth year playing football next year. So, you guys got any connects? Anyone you know? Want to see Hoagie in your favorite team's uniform? Reach out to your coaches. Let them know. Hoagie's in the transfer portal. He's yep. ready to go. So, Look at that pocket right there, good. by the way. Got to pull it near side. Just go left. That shoot's pretty good, though. It's getting saved. I'm a big fake guy. So, I'm not trying to set up my move. I like to, you know, catch you kind of off guard. I lull you to sleep a little bit. Get inside, please. <laughs> the Connor Mitchell special, low and away. All right, make one, please. There it is. I've been going through a lot of different stringers. It used to be Hoagie, then it was TD. Now it's this guy at STX. He strings my stick. It's kind of like a low to mid pocket with a little bit of whip. This um, isn't Mitch's stick. This, this is what really I went off of. Yeah. This is what Hoagie likes. Um, this whole stick probably costs close to three, maybe $400. Then again, we're top tier athletes trying to win a national championship. You got to play with the best gear. Yeah. I actually don't like new gear. So the gloves I've been wearing this year, I've worn them for a year and a half. Same with the elbow pads. You know, from the YouTube channel, this and that, it might seem like I like new gear, but I don't. Once something works, I stick with it until it breaks and then I'm on to the next one. With Hoagie, he loves the gear. It's different. Give me a corner. Go right. Top right? Yeah. Not bad, actually. It's nice. I kind of like the whip. Ow. 
It's not that much whip. It's nice. I kind of like this. Give me the next good. All right, let's strap it on. I will use these this year. Precursor. None of this stuff was from Ohio State University. Besides this helmet, all this stuff was set. ISCX, so no confusion there within the giveaway. Let's put the rest of the gear on. So these are the elbow pads you wear in games, right, Mitch? Yeah, so these are the ones I wear in games. Mismatch the colors, I think, is perfect. Like I said, I play midfield, so I don't want the biggest arm pads, but also don't want the cups that a lot of defenders use. But yeah, I think these are perfect. And then obviously, we have the newly released RZR2s. Really excited to get these gloves. You know, I think these are potential gloves that I could be rocking for the season as well. And then obviously, we got the legendary STX Rival. Can't go wrong with one of these. Fits on there snug. Just being in the full gear, you definitely can tell there's an accessibility to be able to move around and the flexibility is, is already there. So with this, you definitely feel protected but not restricted. Wow. I like it. We got a yellow ball here. Shout out Ryan Dunkel. We're gonna have a yellow ball here. Shout out. What's her name again, Cece? Dude, we're not shouting her out. Get to the wall. Obviously, now we have the most expensive helmet on the STX Rival. We use these in games. If you're still watching this video, we are so close to 45,000. I want to hit 45,000 before I graduate in May. So if you're not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Let's go hit the wall. You just feel so much looser and like you're, you're a better athlete with the gear on. But I do like this new stick set by me. The stick does feel a little slippery in my hands. Without the tape? Yeah. I've always been a tape guy. I don't know why. All in all review, I would say the gear doesn't matter. You got to be a good lacrosse player. And if you want to get to the next level, it takes things like hitting the wall or getting up extra shots. Like the gear is a byproduct of what you put out on the field. And I truly think if you want to play division one lacrosse, you got to put in the work and on the field and the gear will come. And I'd say the biggest thing to wrap up the video is like cheapest pads are the most expensive pads. They're not better or worse, but I think at the stage of lacrosse you're in, you know, those pads are perfect for when you're a beginner and just starting out because obviously you don't need the nicest gear. When you're playing at the division one level or in the high school level trying to get recruited, playing against other potential division one talent, like you need the pads like this because you're going to be in hacked up. This obviously has more protection and it's just better for better lacrosse. So. Get the STX youth set. I think that's good. Like all those were just stallions. It's up on the screen right now. And these are perfect items to get if you're just starting. But you know, if you want to advance your gear, STX got you covered too with the RZR2s, the stallion 900 shoulders, stallion elbows, and the 1K. So if you're trying to buy the best gear, shop STX.com. If you made it this far, kudos to you because the giveaway is here. All you have to do is like this video, comment down below when you're done, and subscribe to this YouTube channel for a chance to win these guys. STX RZR2, the hottest glove on the market. They just came out. Size Mediums. See you guys in the next one. Peace.